what's up you guys i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be making a video basically just expressing my feelings today's a sad day but i'm gonna make the best out of it um so yeah i'm gonna try my best to record this video without um crying but you know We'll see how this goes, no promises, but I'm gonna try. I hate crying on camera, I hate crying in front of anybody. Like, I just don't even wanna do that, but don't be surprised if I tear up. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video. Um, hopefully this could help someone and it can also be very helpful to myself because I feel like I just really need to express myself. Honestly, I didn't want to make this video. I really didn't. Being transparent um, is really hard, even though it's good to, you know, express how you feel sometimes. It can be hard, especially on, you know, social media platforms. But I wanted to try um, because I usually don't really open up. I really don't open up, especially on like social media like this. So this is pretty new um but yeah we're gonna get right into the video i'm not gonna waste any more time um today's video is gonna be about losing my mom what's helped me got get through it and all of that so um most people have lost somebody in their life whether it's a parent where whether it's a grandparent whether it's a friend so you know this might be useful for someone um and this is also gonna help me as well so I'm gonna just get right into it so um yeah where do i want to start um today makes two years um since i lost my mom and it's definitely still hard I want to speak a little bit about my mom, you know, before I really talk about how I felt then and how I feel now. Um, my mom was such a caring person, literally so caring. Once somebody passes, you really see everything that they were when they were alive, you really see it when they're no longer here. And I think that's so crazy. I always knew my mom was an amazing person, but when she left, I really... It really hit me that I'm never going to meet anybody like my mom ever again. Like, not in this lifetime. Like, it's just not going to happen. Um, she was just one of them people, like, down to earth, woman of God, um, loving. Just everything that you could think of, like, the perfect person, you know. Um, our relationship was pretty good, you know. We had ups and downs, but loved our relationship loved my mom as a person loved how strong she was um i am the woman that i am today because of my mom um if only y'all could understand how hard it is to make this video but i really wanted to do this um today makes two years that she's been gone um i want to backtrack to how i was feeling two years ago around that time so I lost my mom to breast cancer um it was something that we dealt with for a little while so it wasn't easy it wasn't easy um I I spent a lot of time you know taking care of my mom a lot of people didn't even know so my mom is a really private person which means no social media like she doesn't have any type of social medias um she keeps everything kind of within our home so if something's going on she's the type to not really talk about it to much people um so when she got sick she didn't want a lot of people to know she wanted it to just kind of be between our family um only like the closest people to us knew i didn't even tell anybody because i knew my mom didn't want people to really know so i respected her for that but to be honest that kind of tore me because i wish then that 
that I kind of had um, talked to somebody about what was going on, but I didn't just in respect for her. So yeah, fast forward to, you know, me losing my mom, because this story could could really go on, because it, it's, we went through a lot. We went through a lot, she went through a lot. I don't think any human being deserves to go through what my mom went through. Um, so yeah. Um, so, it got to the point where, it got to the point where her cancer got so bad that they said like there was no saving her, you know? That's really when like the reality of it really hit. I always knew my mom for being a very strong person. So, she's one of the people that, you know, if she's sick, she's still gonna get up tomorrow, go to work. She's still gonna get up tomorrow, cook. Like she, nothing stops my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing. So, so to see the strongest person that I know get to that point, it broke me. Um, you know, I did everything I could to be there for my mom, whether it was taking care of her, whether it was bathing her, whether it was changing her bandages, whether it was taking her to appointments, you know. And even though those times were so hard, it brought us even closer. Um, I'm really not trying to cry in this video, but I'm really trying to express how I feel at the same time, and it's just hard. So me and my mom, we've always been super close. When she got sick, it brought us even closer. Uh, I knew that. I knew that my mom's days were limited. I knew that we only had limited days. Um, and with no, with knowing that, bro, like, my mom was still so, like, she was just so strong. Like, the pain that my mom went through, she would try to explain it to me through tears, through words, and I could I can honestly say I felt her pain. I, I understood, I understood how she felt. Obviously, I wasn't going through the pain myself, but this is the closest woman to me, crying her eyes out day by day, you know? So I could honestly say like I, I understood. So, Fast forward to around the time that my mom passed away, um, I remember I was in school at the time, um, freshman year of college, and people like to ask me, you know, school, 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 first off, my mom is fucking dying, bro. I feel like nobody really understood. Um, so when she was battling cancer, I was in college. I was trying my best. I was really trying my best. I was trying to keep up with my assignments. I was trying to keep up with friendships. I was trying to keep up with a toxic relationship. Um, the person I was with at the time isn't the person I'm with now. Um, I was trying to keep up with so much while my mom is dying. And 
and it mentally really it mentally really fucked me up February 26 2019 I lost my mom I had class the same day first off going to class I remember I had got a ticket I was speaking to class. It was just so much going on on that on that day. Around that time, was so much going on. I was speaking to class. Got a ticket. I'm still I'm still an officer. I was like, I have so much going on. I'm just trying to go to class. Like, obviously he didn't care. You know, he still wrote me that ticket. Cool. Went to class. Um, I think I was late. College, bro. Like, professors didn't care. I honestly might go back to school at some point but around that time I just couldn't do it I had too much going on no motivation for school I was hurting I was depressed everything you could feel I was feeling it around that time so um, that's why school just wasn't working out for me um, so on February 26th 2019 after school I I went straight to the hospital my mom was in the hospital for days weeks um, well while she was sick it was a lot of back and forth so she would go to the hospital she would come back home um, around okay let me backtrack I I'm sorry if this is all over the place um, I'm just really going straight off of you know what comes to me and how I feel so so yeah, let me backtrack a little bit. So on Valentine's Day, I remember I wrote my mom a card. I wish I had it right here so I could um, show you guys. It's probably somewhere, um, somewhere in the apartment. But I went up to the hospital, I brought my mom a card. I think it was like some stuffed animal. It was something. Something I put together for my mom for Valentine's Day, and I went up to the hospital February 14th, 2019, um, and this day was also really hard for me. I went to the hospital, and on that day, my mom lost her voice, and by that, I mean, they had to put her on life support. Um, I was still able to talk to my mom before this day. So you could just imagine how how this really messed me up. You know, I'm coming to the hospital. This is really hard to talk about. I don't think I've ever just sat down and, and did something like this. That time of my life was a really traumatic event. So I really honestly do not talk about it. Like... I don't, but I think this is really going to be good for me. I feel like I'm releasing everything. So, so yeah. Um, where was I? So, Valentine's Day, I went up to the hospital, found out my mom's on life support now. The last thing my mom told me was, I won't forget your name. That really stuck with me. Um, I really didn't want to do this video because I knew I wouldn't be able to do this without <clears throat> being super emotional. Mind you, for the past months, my mom wasn't the same. They had her on so, so much medicine. Mentally, she wasn't the same. So, yeah. So now we can fast forward to February 26th. Me leaving school, coming to the hospital. Seeing my mom is no longer alive anymore. That hardest day of my life life I I have 
never went through anything like this ever ever like I had a pretty good childhood I grew up in a two-parent home um, you know I was a good kid you know life really wasn't bad for me like things were great in life and when I went through this part of my life I can say that that's the hardest thing I've ever ever been through I miss my mom so much today makes two years and I woke up this morning I felt really sad um, it's now it's like 12 o'clock I think I woke up at like eight or nine the thing about me I could go through so much and still be a really strong person and I've had a lot of people tell me like I don't know how you do it anybody that personally knows me they could tell you like Olivia really handled that so good. Aww. I don't know if y'all can see that. My boyfriend just sat Olivia. <laughs> oh, y'all couldn't see that. There you go. He sent in like invisible ink. It keeps going away. I love him. Yeah, I'm actually I'm home by myself. Um, I told him I was like, I just need to make this video by myself. I don't. Him and the baby stepped out for a little bit, but I just really wanted to sit here and express myself, and I knew I could do this best just me being by myself so I actually want to encourage anybody that's going through something that is going to be okay so I try to just um, continue to be strong but also acknowledge that it is okay to break sometimes it is okay to cry it is okay to be hurt you don't always have to be tough you don't always have to portray that you're happy if you're sad you know and, um, even though, even though that I am now in a happy place in my life, I still, I still cry. I still feel sad. I still think of my mom, you know, at the time when I was going through everything I was going through, um, I really needed friends to be there for me. You know, I really needed family to be there for me. And what people don't get is when you lose somebody, um, cause I actually had a friend tell me, um, I didn't know how to be there for you. What the fuck? What do you mean? Just fucking be there. You know what I mean? Like when somebody is going through, um, something as traumatic as that, it might be hard to know the right things to say. You know, but really, all that person needs is for you to be there. And I can honestly say, some people that I genuinely thought would be there for me weren't there. Um, I did have friends, some friends and family that have been there for me, and I'm so thankful for them. But I also did have people in my life that I was highly disappointed highly disappointed because I expected so much from them and that taught me not to expect anything from anybody and to hold your own because sometimes things happen in life and you're gonna have to stand up on your own two feet and be strong for yourself um, and I learned that I used to be so mad so mad at friends at family um, I used to be so upset. I used to think like, bro, like, okay, my camera stopped recording, but the way I looked at it was when my mom was alive, she did so much for everybody, friends, family, she did so much. So I just always believed that, you know, knowing that my mom's biggest accomplishment is her kids you as a family member 
you would be there for her kids when she's no longer here. And I was so disappointed by a lot of family members. Um, I felt like I was always trying to figure out why people weren't there for me when I, when I needed it most. And at some point, I just have to, I just had to self-heal. I had to self-heal because if I didn't, and I'm not even just going to say I did that for myself. God really had to, God really had to stand with me in this time because if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here. I probably would not be here. That's the honest truth. Um... My mom was such a religious, spiritual person, and that definitely rubbed off on me. Uh, so yeah, in my hardest, darkest times, I went to God first, and I want to encourage anybody, like if you're going through something super hard, where you feel like you just can't make it out of it, <clears throat> I just want to encourage you to go to God first, because I did that. I had to go to God first. Because, you know, you can't always expect people to be there. I'm a realist, okay? At some point in life, you're going to lose somebody. That's just the honest truth. You're going to lose somebody. And if you haven't already, it's going to happen. And it's sad, you know. I wish life was forever, but it's not. You know, it's the, re the reality of it is we all have to leave at some point. So, once you, once you accept that, I think you can, you can deal with losing people a lot better. And my mom was the first person that I've actually, like, lost. Like, I, I've never just lost anybody super close to me until my mom passed. Um, so, what's helped me deal with losing my mom throughout these two years is... Surrounding myself with people who truly love me. Um, I don't have toxic friends in my life anymore. I'm not in a toxic relationship. Like, literally everybody in my life right now are people who genuinely care about me, genuinely love me. And that right there is a big factor. Um, another thing is staying busy. Sometimes when you're hurting, um, you want to just lay in bed, you want to just cry, you want to just curl up, and that's just going to make you feel worse. You need to be active, um, talking to somebody. I could say I was pretty depressed in that moment. Um, I was depressed because, one, I lost my mom. Two, I didn't have a lot of people who was just there for me at the time, and it was just a lot. Thankfully, my boyfriend was a big factor of me healing. He was there for me, and he was the one person that I could go to and talk to. Even right now, I talk to him all the time. So yeah, sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. And that's why I'm so thankful, so thankful of my boyfriend because I needed that. I needed somebody to talk to and cry to when I was going through the hardest thing in my life. And, you know, I'm gonna encourage you that it's okay to be sad. You know, it's okay to feel hurt. When you lose somebody, it's hard. It is definitely hard. You know, you could be three, four years, eight years in, 20 years in from losing somebody and you still feel the same pain. It doesn't just go away. You're not gonna just, you're not gonna just wake up and all of a sudden, okay. I'm good now. Like, it's not like that. Um, the pain is always there. But you just have, I think you just figure out how to better manage it. And now that I'm a mom, um, I think motherhood has bought me, brought me a lot of peace as well. I can't be sad all the time. I have a baby that looks up to me. I have a baby that smiles when she looks at me so I can't be crying all the time you know um every day 
I try to be positive. I have my down days. I have my low days, you know. Even after giving birth, you know, I feel like a complete different person. I'm trying to get back to myself again, you know. One thing I'm going to leave you guys with is no matter what you go through in life, do not give up. You could be going through something so hard and you feel like this is it. Like I can't take anything else. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you that no matter what you go through in life, you will overcome it. Because I went through the hardest thing ever and I'm getting through it, you know? You know, I might tear up right now and I might be super emotional about it because yeah, I'm, st I'm still hurting from it. But at the end of the day, I know that my mom is in a better place. So when you lose somebody, you know, you have to just think of, think of it like everybody's time on earth is limited. And it's not up to us when, when people leave. One thing I strongly believe is that everything happens for a reason. And it's it's been hard. There's been a lot of ups and downs in my personal life but I'm getting through it and when I look at my daughter it encourages me every every day to keep going I'm so I'm so happy to be a mom now like I used to not understand why my mom would do the things she would do or say the things she would say or be so protective and now I'm a mom and I'm like okay I get it I get it like I I really do understand why you were so protective of like about your kids mom like I get it now being a mom you see everything so yeah I know I probably went round and round with this um I just really had a lot to say and I just hope that everything I said in this video made a lot of sense and, um, and yeah, I want to encourage you guys to keep going. It's a lot going on in the world right now and sometimes you might want to feel like giving up. Sometimes you, you feel alone and it's hard sometimes, you know, but it's going to be okay. I'm here to tell you it is going to be okay. Yeah, I think that's that's all I have to say for now. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I didn't want this to be super emotional, but you know, this is how this is how I felt. So, uh, and I try my best to be really transparent. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.